live. Okay, I asked a question about Dr. Hawkins' process of cleaning and putting things into God's infinite light and love, uh, visualization at the beginning of the day, and, and also 12 steps. And in 12 steps, we have what's called a step 10 or daily inventory, um, you know, where I can say if I've been resentful, you know, I've been resentful. I don't know, I've been resentful, what could I be resentful at? <clears throat> yes, I, I'm resentful at the insurance broker who was, uh, who was incompetent in selling me his policy uh, and then, uh, you know, did affect my personal relations, sex relations, my pocketbook uh, uh, and then uh, we have the defects of character, uh, you know, was I selfish, self-seeking, uh, dishonest or fearful? And we have a step 10 process. Now, the big book, which is used in 12-step uh, recovery, like Alcoholics Anonymous, which is very, very powerful for letting go of any kind of addiction, uh, Hawkins calibrated that at uh, 540, unconditional love. Now, the Course in Miracles calibrates through muscle testing research the higher vibration of the lessons are at 600. And Hawkins' work and books tend to calibrate from about uh, 700 to 1,000. So Hawkins was an enlightened teacher, uh, so of the highest vibration. So uh, some of the stuff he does is going to be far more powerful than the 12-step processes. Now, my own experience is like doing things like, uh, which is a modified Course in Miracles thing which we do here in the group. I place things into God's infinite light and love and pray for a miracle. The, um, there's a lesson in the Course in Miracles, I place the future into God's hands. There's a modified version of that. Uh, that is very, very powerful. So I could shift, I could shift things much faster saying that a few times. Than, uh, and in fact, when I shift things, even though I do do a step 10 every day because I'm in 12 steps and I sponsor people and I want to share my recovery with others in a 12 step setting. So I sort of share things that I do, but actually when I have stuff going on, I do that as part of my daily thing, but I use all, the, all this stuff, like I place things into God's infinite light and pray for a miracle, or I cancel my belief. I cancel my belief in incompetent insurance brokers. I'm an infinite being. You know, they don't exist. God did not create incompetent. This not exist. That, that's an illusion. No such thing as incompetent insurance brokers. The funny thing is, when I let that go, they stop existing for me, and things go better for me rather than if I hold that on. So yes, the thing I would say with uh, you know doing the Course of Miracles or doing Hawkins' work, which is very very high vibration, is you invite in that grace, so you will be clearing things much faster. Whatever you read. You understand that the things you do and the prayers you use each has a different vibration. It's better to do things at a higher vibration than at a lower vibration because you can clear things much faster. So, you know, like I cancel my belief in uh, incompetent insurance brokers. I'm an, in, I mean, I'm an infinite being. Like I'm an infinite being. This has not existed in God's world. I cancel my belief that this exists in God's world. Insurance brokers do not exist in the infinite realm. They have never existed in the infinite realm. It's a psychosis, it's just an imagined illusion from my separated ego that is projected into the world. So totally refute it. And that's far more powerful than saying, uh, like the, the, the step four resentment prayer. Uh, God, I pray for forgiveness. I pray for forgiveness. I pray for to forgive the insur the bad insurance broker, bad man, mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> that did that to me, and help me treat him with the same patience, tolerance, and kindness and love. I cheerfully grant a sick friend. God save me from being angry. That we were done, because that presupposes I exist as a separated me. Me separated is real. Mm -hmm. Insurance broker is a bad, but he's not really a bad man. He's a sick man. And let me, as an individual, treat him as an individual with patience. So I'm reinforcing the idea of duality. And I'm presupposing that everything that happens in this illusory perceptual world is real. And that the God's infinite realm is not, not a part of me. I, you know, my truth is infinite. I have never... Everything that happens in the world of duality, I don't give it reality. And I affirm that my nature is infinite. I'm in the timeless eternal now. Now. 
if I say I'm a separated being that needs to forgive you, then it's a much lower level of and so I have to do that for longer to clear that resentment, that grievance, then, you know, it didn't happen. And, you know, also when I'm, when I'm doing, when I'm attuned to a higher vibration, a higher teaching, it's like I'm all, all, also in the sink. I'm like connected to a vibration in the ether of everyone who's, who's, who's going for A Course in Miracles, everyone who's going for enlightenment. And there's like a group sink. You could say there's group angels, you know. But at lower vibrations, you have the lower vibration angel. And it sounds a bit elitist, but anyway. Uh, but, you know, the, you have the non-dual. You know, you couldn't even have non-dual angels because they shouldn't exist. But anyway. So, but, uh, but then, you know, as you hold to a higher level of truth, you can clear things faster. You know, because you're holding that this world is an illusion. You're holding that the separation isn't real. You hold, you're affirming that I'm an infinite being. I am, my true nature is timeless. My true nature is formless. My true nature has never been born. My true nature will never die. You know, my true nature is infinite. My true nature is not limited. My true nature was never in separation holding grievances against insurance brokers. So, you know, that's like me at a lower level of vibration, believing in separation and holding grudges against one cloud holding a judgment against another cloud. You know, I'm in the realm of clouds rather than the realm of being in the sky. So, answering your question, yes, it's, but you know, you can't fake it. I mean, if you're doing the Course in Miracles, you're a Course in Miracles student. You try and tell a Course in Miracles prayer to someone on the street, they won't get it. You know, it's like they'll slap you around the face and say that you should be locked up. So, but if you're aligned with the Course in Miracles, then you can clear things much faster than a normal man can. Like a normal man might go to a psychiatrist for 20 years and talk about his, his childhood and that his dog bit him and his father was mean to him. And after 10 years of therapy, he finally lets go and forgives somebody. Whereas with the Course in Miracles, you know, it didn't happen. I'm an infinite being. I cancel my belief in it. And it's gone within 10 seconds, you know. So there are different orders of power of clearing things, but you're also aligned, each student, you know, you have to, each student, to what level of truth are you in alignment with? Students which, who are in alignment with higher levels of truth can clear things much faster. Therapy, if you believe in therapy, you know, that's going to be a lot slower than A Course in Miracles, you know, like let's, what happened to you, what, what did your mother do to you, what happened when you were three years old, let's talk about your whole history come back for the next 10 weeks and let's discuss it in depth so you get a good understanding of it and then we should, we should be able to make some progress in this thing rather than let's pray to the Holy Spirit, ask for a miracle, cancel my beliefs and go to the observer. So, so there are 12 steps and the Course of Miracles and then Hawkins works is even faster. Mm. In non-duality, non-dual stuff can clear stuff within an instant. What worries me is that you said um you still do it because you work with people in, in the program, yes. and so do I. Yes. So then it made me, you know, I, I thought it was okay because they need to do that because they're very, very sick. They're at the beginning of their stages of recovery and awakening and everything else. Yeah. So for them, that's the easiest way to do it through the columns yes. and do it and see it. It's laid out. Yeah. Um, as I find it really repetitive and tedious, and I find mm -hmm. I get a lot more out of this. Well, oh, I see, I see the dilemma. You do um, know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, you can do it or not do it, it doesn't matter. God's not going to strike you down into lightning or anything. Uh, oh, thanks. Look, uh, you know, here's the thing. I get, I get asked this thing of... Uh, of um, people are afraid to use words. People are afraid to use words. I'm not afraid to use words. You know, it's like if I talk to a five-year-old, if I talk to someone on the street, I can use their language. I'm not scared to use people's language, you know, I'm not afraid to go into a 12-step group and there's a language in the 12 steps, they linger, you know, I'm not afraid to speak to scientists and use their linger, and like if a five-year-old comes, I'm not going to say the world's an illusion and, uh, and you know, and talk about non-duality, I'll talk in their language, like there's this fear, like I can, can use anything, like I could say, like if I say like, you know, if I said, like, I'm stupid, if, I, if that's meaningless to me, it won't stick, yeah? 
people are, you know, like people say, like words are very powerful, and if I say I'm stupid, I'll become stupid. No. When you render a word meaningless, you can use it in a functional way and not get, not let it stick to you. You know, so people get scared of words. Like I can write out a twelfth, tenth, tenth step, uh, and my motive is to be helpful to others, and it has use as well. It, it does have a functionality. Maybe it's a, a slower way of clearing things than the Course of Miracles. Well, I could do it, and I can share that I do it to people in that in that program, and it would be helpful to them. And they would ask me sometimes, "Do you do that?" Yeah, I do that. You know, it is helpful. But I also do a course. Of, I don't. I don't share to them a, a Course of Miracles. The world's an illusion uh, because it's not. A, but so I can speak in different languages and it doesn't affect me. I can speak to I can speak to someone on the street and not get afraid that I'm going to be like lose my lose the observer because I've just said, oh, you know, what happened to me yesterday was a broker tried to rip me off. You know, and not get stuck in the story because you're deleting enough of that stuff. Uh, whether you use it or not. Another thing with 12 steps is, uh, I mean, here's the thing, like a lot of people might look at me in, in a bizarre way, like, I think it's okay to make sort of white lies if they're in a good, in good faith, you know, like, uh, like, you know, like God, I think God picks up the intention, not that you have to be like, you know, and lying is okay. I always say to people, because I, I, I'm in 12-step groups, I say to sponsors, like, I would lie in certain situations. Like, if I was in Nazi Germany, and there's a Jewish girl hiding in my cellar, and the Nazis came with machine guns and knocked on my door and said, have you seen any Jewish girls hiding in cellars? I mean, not in this house. I'd try, I'd try over there, baby. You know? <laughs> I, wouldn't, I would lie, because that would be the right thing to do. So it's not about, like, at literal honesty. It's about your intention in your heart, you know. So, you know, as long as my intention is right with God, you know, it's okay. There's this thing like people get obsessed like, oh, I should tell you that you got terrible, I think your shoes are terrible today or something, you know. Or that haircut doesn't suit you, you know. Because I, cause it, I shouldn't lie or God will strike me down with lightning. It's like, it's like no, there, there's like an intention. Is your intention like for a higher purpose or to be loving? It's okay. It's like I don't have any fear. You know, like with tower steps, you know, I could even say something like, I mean, you know, it's just, you know, for me, I wouldn't mind saying, look, it happens more intuitively for me nowadays, but I recommend you do a step 10. Mm. You know, I do because I did it for many years mm. and I think it's important to write it out and do it properly by the book. And, you know, no, I don't do that at the moment. I have a much more faster, intuitive process that I do, but I strongly, I used to do it, and I recommend you do it. Mm. Yeah, no, I don't think God's going to strike me down and sort of say like, you know, so I would, I would do those things because I think it's the intention behind it. Okay, so you okay? Okay, I think we should move.